brothers and sisters, please all stand to pray the Angelus and the prayer to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Today is Friday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. The presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Father Raymond. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for in those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. There, God is speaking to Israel in vision by night, called Jacob, Jacob. He answered, Here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba and the sons of Israel, both their father and their wives and children, on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus, Jacob, Jacob and all his descendants migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen. On his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, At last, I can die, now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wool-hearted, and their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Thorn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right, and forsake not his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, to be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit your Father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. 
You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here we have the instruction of the Lord, and He is saying to His followers that they are going to be hated, to be ridiculed, to be persecuted because of His name, because of following Jesus, because of following the truth. If we are going to be true to what we are to what we are adoring, to what we believe, to our faith, then we will have the world hating us. Because at this time, many have become so anesthetized that they can no longer feel what the world is feeling. Our consciences have become so anesthetized that we are so well in accepting compromise. And that is our favorite world in our faith life and in our day-to-day -day life. Para bang meron tayong dalawang buhay, ang ating buhay pananampalataya at ang ating buhay pang-araw-araw. And we have anesthetized our faith life for practicality, for economics, for gain, for politics, for fame, and for power. And because we have anesthetized our consciences, we can no longer say that it is good and that is bad. Or we can say it is good and that is bad, but we don't say it loud. We don't say it clearly because we wanted to compromise. And here, the Lord is clearly saying, if you wanted to become my true followers, a true Christian, a true Catholic, then we will not be afraid to say what is true, to say good to the good, and to say bad to the bad. And in doing so, we know that we will make enemies, not only from strangers, but even among, within, among and within our families. Kapag sasabihin natin ang totoo, alam nating pati mga pamilya natin, pwede at minsan magagalit sa atin for saying the truth. And this is also the life of the saints that we are celebrating today. They are martyrs. They are witness to the persecution, to the ridicule, to the pains of our Lord. 120 of them. They are St. Augustine Zarong and a 18-year-old boy, Chi Susi, who had said when he was dying, he proclaimed, even every part of my flesh and of my blood will tell you that I am a true Christian. Sana din po tayong lahat pwedeng sumigaw at sabihin, every part of my flesh and every ounce of my blood or drop of my blood will tell you that I am a Christian. Please all stand. Assured of God's guidance and protection, 
let us approach God knowing that He is always with the help that never fails. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, that the church leaders may be determined and fearless in proclaiming God's message despite opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations and peoples may be, free, may be freed from sinful system of oppression and terrorism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those tormented by fear and anxiety may find protection within the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may reap the reward of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also offer our personal intentions. We pray for the stop of the spread of coronavirus, for our leaders in government and in the church, for all frontliners, to those who are sick, especially of COVID-19, and to those who have died. Father, you are the source of life. Dispel the darkness of evil from our hearts and fill us with the brightness of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel to pray the Oracho Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. 
Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.